Back again. More presents. No, do the small one first. Don't even try it. Okay. Really gone above and beyond. Mm. I just want like that. How did you get the right size? I've got them to measure it. <laughs> <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> oh my god! Do you see how I turned it over so you didn't think that it had been done? <laughs> That's my favourite I know, here. why do you think I was saying the other day, Scrooge McDuck, Scrooge McDuck? Wasn't that your favourite one? Ever? No, I was saying to you months ago, don't you remember? I was saying, isn't that, wasn't that your favourite one? <laughs> oh, that's unbelievable. George Wallow? Yeah, of course. He's, a, he's, he's different, oh, he's, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most talented, yeah. Unbelievable. Guys, look at that. So I used to watch DuckTales as a kid, and it was my favourite um, programme, and that's Scrooge McDuck. Wow, that is. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't expect that. That's absolutely. That's outrageous. This one's not from him. That's outrageous. This is just something that that was late. <laughs> uh, trick you. Did he do this? Yeah, of course he did. I just wanted to trick you to get the reaction again. How good's that? Good morning, Daily Gang. I am back in the building. We have a special guest. <laughs> we have a special guest. She's back. Um, she's back. First day back at work. How are you feeling, darling? I'm back. I'm feeling fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm back. <laughs> yes. Um, Tom is up north signing off some properties that we've got valuations on today. So I'll have some um, videos throughout the day of what's going on there. And we are here organising what we need to organise. I'm out this afternoon on the road. Um, it's going to be a great day. It's absolutely going to be incredible. Guys, check this out. Another one. Another one source. And I actually think I have a cold coming. It's not good. But sourcing on property. So that's three in like one, two, three, four days. Three and four days without even trying. Genuinely, just got sent to me last night. One of the investors has bought it. Uh, money's in the bank, as you've just seen. Good day. Also, we have a, um, a refinance drop in today, which is going to be incredible because it's one that I'm very proud of. We're going to shoot a video on it next week. Um, pulled all our money out, plus £46,000, I think it was. So, yeah, great morning. Catch you shortly. Another present. Another present. You can show him because. Lee! Sorry, it's there. Important. Let's see what we've got. Another present. It's a cap, isn't it? Could is be. it the one I want? Could be. Could be. It is so cool. Guys, it's really weird this is because this morning mm. I was actually going to put a cap on and I thought to myself, what cap shall I wear? Look how cool that is. It's what I asked for. Black on black. Yeah. That is so cool. And I've got two of them. Very, very, very small. It's not, it's very thoughtful because stuff like this makes me smile. My, do you want to see what my Isabella's doing? <laughs> She's been waiting for you to come out today. Cool. Yeah, she was like, I hope Lee comes in, but I know he's not feeling very well. No, I'm good. Hello, are you okay? Yes, good to see you. That's a really nice Enjoy. present. Thank you very much, Mark. I appreciate it. Because he's got this one, he's got it with his looks oh, yeah, on the front. Yeah. Um, one each. Oh, said. thank you. One each. They're nice. Yes. Should we get a mini one for cruise? Yeah, we should do that. <laughs> so cool. Thank you, mate. I appreciate it. No the payments come out of our account last night for £1,038, which 
genuinely probably would have been missed till the end of the month. But um, we received also a payment from Shopify and it flashed up on the iPad, so we just clicked it. I don't even know why. And then we saw this payment come from Stripe for just over a thousand pounds. And none of us have any idea what this payment is for. The, we get a statement, don't we, from them? It doesn't even match up to any of the payments on the statements. It looks like a direct debit on the screen. Yeah, yeah it is. Because I've got a notification saying like a direct debit is coming out. Mm -hmm. You know, like how Starling sends you notifications. Yeah, so somebody, someone's obviously set that up. Can you speak to a direct person at Stripe or is it online? Yeah, I think I can. Yeah, so I think we need to make a phone call just yeah, to ask yeah, what it was for. Uh, um, okay, um, guys, so um, yesterday the. Thank you very much. Yesterday I got um, home and you saw at the beginning of the daily Isabella bought me two more presents and this was the second present she bought me. Um, a lot of you probably don't know that I am actually obsessed with space. Um, I don't talk about it a lot, but I am completely like nuts when it comes to space and all that kind of stuff. I love it. And she had that hand made, well not the bag handmade, the, the obviously the, um, the painting. George Rollo again. So I got that and this. And this is absolutely incredible. And also, to top it off, best thing about this bag. Cruise 11 Hamilton, the day he was born, the time, and his weight, which goes on the front there. So, She's very special, isn't she? She does things for me. She she thinks outside the box all the time. So, they're two very special things, but... Do you give the backstory in the other one as well? Yeah, I think I did mention it when she opened it. Oh. DuckTales, it's my favorite cartoon as a, as a child. Um, Scrooge McDuck is diving into a pot of gold. Again, these are really thoughtful things. Um, very happy. She's taking control of now, like she's literally She's got them all seen down. You're next, ain't you, Phil? Next to the in. Sit down treatments and have a conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's standard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's back. He's, um, he's been to hospital today. You're right, Dan. All good, mate. All good. Good news. He's good. He's healthy. He's home. He's back. Um, which is always a good thing when somebody comes from the hospital. Up down on my auntie as well because I keep getting asked and. Thank you to all of you guys that keep sending messages. She is doing better, um, taking it day by day. Her infection markers have dropped. Um, she's still very poorly, but her infection markers have dropped. They're feeding her now as well um, through a tube because she hadn't eaten for like a long time. Um, so fingers crossed, um, you know, she'll be okay. Fingers crossed. Um, I struggle to go to the hospital because, yeah, I have like mental blocks and stuff, I don't, I don't like it. it, it upsets me. I know it upsets everybody, but I, I'm very funny about it. Um, right, Dan, Dan, Dan the man. We are going over to Yanni on Monday. Okay. Um, 12 o'clock is the time that the car is ready for collection. Yep. Um, I now know the colour. Um, Duna, Duna let me know the colour. Um, so, surprise has been ruined by my team, so I know the colour. Don't know if... You say you do, but I don't believe you yet. I don't believe you yet. No, I don't know yet. You don't know, yeah. <laughs> I, I do know. Duna told me. Duna told me last night and told me. I was like, say, listen, I need to let you know because the video has to go this way. <laughs> that way, this way. It's not biting, is it? No. It's not biting. Um, I don't know the colour. But we're going Monday, 12 o'clock. Did you get the caps out of the boot or did I leave them in the boot? Are they in the back of the van? They're in the back of the van. Yes. Where's the van? On... Uh, Right the Can you grab them for me, please? Yeah, of course, Guys, let's go. I'm back. Property award winning networking event of the year. Here I am, 18 levels above Birmingham City, 18 levels above everybody else. It was only right I came back with my first networking event in three months in style. The right network 
the right education, the right people, exclusive availability, 100 tickets, fill out the form below. You do not want to miss what is going to be the best event I have ever done since I started. No, no, no. Make sure you do it. Yeah, well, it's just done it with Lee, and Lee's setting up a secondary one, but you're already registered. Make sure you do it, please. Because you've only got like six minutes. All right, bye bye. Why is everyone stressing? No one's stressing. No one's stressing. Boys' number plate is up for the bid, so I don't want to lose, which I'm not going to lose because I don't care what it goes for. So Lee's just setting up a secondary account to bid. Tom has set up the original. Sorry, can I call you back in one second, son? One second. Um, Tom set up an account already. It goes live in how long, Liz? Um, I'd say. <coughs> Five minutes, Five minutes, so you guys are going to see us win Cruz's number plate. Um, <sighs> Special one. Doesn't get any better, does it? CR11, UZE. It doesn't get any better. It's Tom. Hello? Is that going up to 4,000? Yeah. yeah, and then obviously if you're unsuccessful, we, it, they refund it to us. If you are successful, it just comes off the bill. I don't care whether it goes to 25 million. Well, that's a lie. I don't that's not being good. Yeah, be logical. That's the number. Just put it in. Okay, all right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Well, you right. You're good. Liz is having a panic attack before going on. <laughs> Do you want to mirror your screen onto here? Please, Lee. Um, or are you not able to mirror with that it. old just school? <laughs> Oh, we've got, we've got nothing. Keep you need to keep yours on. Leo will probably get hacked as well because yeah. he's got everything on there. That's like the most sacred thing <laughs> in the world. He guards that with his life. Guys, this is a little bit different to the it's house the auctions. To the top. We face on this guy. This guy. There you go, on sale. That's when we go for some decent money, that is, I think. Crypto. That's a good place. We're going to let him bid though. We're only going to jump in if we need to jump in. We're yeah, we're up. 1,500 quid. And you know what? He's not answering the phone, oh so you gosh. might have to it's bid. It's on sale. Here we go. go. Start bidding. I'm sorry, Lee. I keep kicking it. Put one on. Okay, okay just put 1,000. Just put 1,000. Just bid don't, one. Don't just do 1,000. It's current price is 550. What do you want? Put a grand. Hang on, because you want to watch that Tom's not bidding against Tom's me. not bidding. Oh. Tom's not on. So 800 quid. <laughs> He's bidding now, it's live. Put a thousand in mate. Okay, wait. Will you bid now, Tom? Sorry guys, I'm getting stressed. I'm getting stressed now. Not joking. You don't need to bid, Tom. Are you bidding, Tom? Okay. Okay. Are we going twice or what? <laughs> Is that you, Tom, at a grand? I'm at a grand. Going twice. Please, Come someone on. don't bid. A grand, I'll be absolutely buzzing. Hammer down. Got it. Hey! Hey! And it was a thousand pound as well. I oh, know. I'll put it for you. Thank you very much, son. Thanks, Thank son. you. How mad's that? That's made like that. I am so happy. He's not even one. He's got a house. He's got a, a house. Or how many houses? Multiple houses. <laughs> He's got a license plate. Just need to get him a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, she try. Can we go back to see? There it is. Look. Sold. See it on a car. I'm going to get it now. I'm actually going to get the plate now. And breathe, everyone relax. That was like the easy, like, That was so easy. Stressful. <laughs> that was stressful. I was panicking, thinking, ah, oh, someone's gonna buy it, someone's gonna get it. Um, I'm buzzing with a thousand pounds as well. Absolutely, yeah. like, ecstatic. How did you say you'd go to earlier? 25 mil. No, but I think genuinely. <laughs> 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 
done for yeah, I, I think, 25 minutes. Well, I think we'd have gone to 10. 10 grand. I'd have gone to 10 grand to get Cruz's play for him. 100%. And you wouldn't have moaned at that, would you? Or said no, anything? No, no, no. Yeah, I'd have gone to 10 grand to get his play for him. I, and to be honest with you, someone who'd be 10 grand, we'd have gone to 11. Um, wasn't losing the play, but that's Cruz's first place. So, yes, I'm very happy. Maybe it'll be put onto his flying car. Um, we saw one yesterday. Saw what, a flying car? Yeah. Where? Harry Potter car. Oh yeah, we did actually, yeah. Or did you just lie to me? No, no, we was behind the Harry Potter car out of the film, the one that flies. Um, we was actually behind a, a guy driving one. And it was actually flying. <laughs> no, he was late. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, another one secured. It's not a house, it's not a bag, it's not um, a watch. Do people actually know plates. that we collect license plates? No, I don't think people know some of the plates that we actually own. We actually have a very good collection of number plates. Um, Cruise 11, when you watch this in 20 years time, that's what's on your car right now. Apart from when we get you one CEH and CEH1. Are these the chops? Has he found some chops then? Yes. What would you like to know, Phil? Oh, where have you been? Where See, have you been? Sitting downstairs eating my sandwich with... Oh, yeah. um, with Darren. Darren, and now you're going to see my boy. Shishu! Cruise 11! Cruise! Cruise? Look. <laughs> Cruise. <laughs> he's not. Hello! Hello, Dada! He's, not. he's just had an hour and 45 minute nap, darling. Oh dear. Okay, are you ready? Right, darling, I'm going. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye, Church. All right, I love you. Bye. I was downstairs having a sandwich with Darren. And you lot was all looking for me again. Yes. I know. Guys, look at that. Straight from the auction Straight to real life. Auction. Yes. Question is now, what car am I going to put these on? Mm. Is it a car that you guys have never seen, actually? Mm. That's what it might be. So, that will be making an appearance as soon as I get the documents in the next few days. Might even put it on the channel. Might even show them which car it goes on. Um, we have, Liz was sitting down then, but she was like, I don't want to be sitting. We have, guys, the 11 caps. Um, yeah, but we did have the 11 caps. Oh, they're so cool. We have those ones, and then we have, don't we have... We have some different styles, aren't we? I think so, yeah, yeah. We did have different styles. Unless all, all these ones are the same. Oh, yeah, that's a cool one. That's the original, isn't it? Yes, that's the original. Oh, jeez. Um, these are now going for sale, as in you guys can purchase some of the hoodies, the caps, and the T-shirts. Um, what is going on? Just like, what's going on? Oh, okay, that's so cool. Um, and every single time that we sell something, we will put it in the daily the next day, and all the money we won't even take out what we spent to make them, they will be going to buy trainers for the kids at the schools that we're going to speak at. So, my next school speaking is the fourth of. 4th of December at Phoenix in West Brom, Sandwell. So all of the money that sells from now till then, as in hoodies, caps and t-shirts, we will buy trainers and give them away when we go to the school. So you guys can actually do nice things if you want to. You don't have to. I've got an idea. Duna's got an idea. So what if when people purchase them, that they can also leave a message with the purchase and then it gets read out on the daily? Nice. Yeah, so what would you write? If you purchased one today, what message would you leave? Just, I'd probably just say a shout out to the Daily Gang. Thanks for the hat. 
just something simple like that. But if you wanted to motivate and inspire on that, they can get their message across in, in this form. I like that. That's really nice. Yep, that's our thing. We always try to inspire. So, these are available in the description below. Guys, every single cap that you buy, every single hoodie and t-shirt. I don't think the hoodies and t-shirts are going to be on today, are they? No. Is that a definite no? Yeah, we need to finish up on a few designs. Okay, so the caps will be available today. Um, and we will bring them out every two months. We'll bring a different design out every two months. So there's two designs here today. Um, so yeah, purchase them please guys, because the more you purchase, the more we get to spend for the kids at the schools. So be nice, be kind, and give back. That's what we're basically trying to say. What are we doing, my brother? Just setting up for a few videos. Um, one is gonna be the five steps to finding a, a great deal on right move. So we've broke it down into nice, simple, bite-sized chunks for people to, to pretty much learn five how to. rules. He's coming to take over. I got one, I got it. You just interrupted my boy. I'm so sorry, what was that all about? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> just inspiring and motivating. Carry on, inspire me. So I need some inspiration today. Give me some inspiration doing it because I'm feeling very lethargic and very tired. Just think about the end goal and remember that in the end, the race is just uh, the big oh, yeah, I couldn't. Do you oh, swear again? Yeah, I swore again. Sorry, Daily Gang, <laughs> sorry. No, take two, go. The race is long, but in the end, it's ultimately with yourself. <coughs> Yeah, so I'm running a relay on my own. Yeah, yeah. So you guys are where? We're, we're filming it. Yeah, yeah we're filming, filming the race. <laughs> All three of it? All three of us. None of you in the crowd cheering on. There you got the rest of the staff to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm letting you ask us. That's already spoken for. What, cheering? Yeah, you already do it. What, cheer us on? Cheer you on. Oh, 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 that was very close, that was, Jesus, I saw my life flash before my eyes then, um, so, yes, yes, inspired now, yeah, I'm inspired, it's a race that I have to win on my own, <laughs> no support, and the end goal is the winning, is that right, Duna, was that a metaphor, yeah, 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 <laughs> you sure, no, no, so it's, it's pretty much, what I'm trying to say is like, when you die, it's all pointless anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is what motivates me every day. You know, my team, my team are the key to success. They're telling me that when I die, everything we've done is pointless <laughs> anyway. There's no legacy. There's nothing going on afterwards. It's just the end game. Yeah? No, no. We're going for another one. We're yeah. going for a third one. <laughs> yeah. Go on, give me a third one. Um, I don't have any. I don't, I don't read enough books or I just just edit. That's all I've got. Yeah, sorry. Just, just make edit. sure you cut to the beat of the music, have dynamic shots, and, and you'll have a good video. There you go. So we'll put that into life metaphor. So when you hear music, tap your feet. Yeah. Let the rhythm take control of you, and eventually you will smile your way to success. Yeah? yeah? In video terms. Yeah, yeah. In video terms. So we've broken it down from a videographer, a genius, a wizard, into life. And that is what we've came up with, yeah. or that's New what YouTube we've come video. up with. We New YouTube video. video, how to dance your way to success. <laughs> <laughs> What's he got, D? I think he's turning the camera back on. I don't know, I think, he's, I think he said a script, but I must be hearing things. You don't have a script, do you? That you've wrote. I, do I ever have a script? Isn't it just like, turn the camera on and let's roll? Is that what actually happens? Wow. Well, we try, well, I try and put a script together, but. No, you, you are brilliant at what you do. Aish, on your MacBook, I've um, airdropped you something, mate. Um, you need to accept it, please. Um, we aren't scripts. I like to free flow. Duna likes to let me free flow, but give me pointers of categories. So when he edits the video, he knows where it goes. Um, so like I went into the room yesterday and I was like, I've got it, it's done, it's there, it's written down. And he looked at me and he said, written down? I said, in there. And he's like, that's not good to see. It needs to be here, on paper. So did I write it down? Hell no. Yeah, I decided. 
sometimes it's like filming a, vi a video with Steve. Here, here we go. It's like a, it's like a game of snakes and ladders, right? So I like to put it all together so I know the uniform of it. But when Steve says, nah, sack that off, I'm just going to go. We'll set off and then you'll hit that snake and it'll go to the end of the video. And then, and then we'll climb a ladder and then it'll, we'll be at the start of the video again. <laughs> so then I'll have to piece it all together then. <laughs> That's why he's a wizard. That's why he's actually <clears throat> genius. He genuinely is. Phil, would you call yourself a genius? I would call myself a genius. I'd call you a genius. I think both of you are geniuses. Ayush, yeah. would you say you're genius level? Maybe. Just that's not the thing we that's need to hear. Yeah. You've got to believe in yourself. <clears throat> ask him again. Ask him, ask him again. Ask him again. Are you a genius, Ayush? Of course I am. Yeah, that's it. Now I believe. I'm a believer now. There you go. I'm a believer. Three geniuses. Can we put the Avengers picture up of you three, please? Ding. What was that? Just the, the sound effect. Okay, sound. Um, <laughs> right, guys, I need to shoot a video. Um, dude has got me for the next hour, and I'm here, and I'm ready to go. And Liz is, 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 is giving me the evil eye. <laughs> what time's my next meeting? We have 17, <laughs> T-minus 17 minutes for my next meeting. Mm -hmm. So we have 17 yeah, minutes to shoot a full yeah, YouTube yeah. video. Can I do it? There's no pressure. No pressure whatsoever. Light work. Light work. TPC Tour is back. Five of my developments in one day. Everything you need to know in one action-packed day. We have HMOs, self-contained units, double-story extensions, single-story extensions, flat conversions, so much more. One of the most educational days in the UK. Limited spaces, one minibus, 15 people with me. <sighs> Education on another level. Guys. I'm going to give you a little breakdown of where I think you should start in your journey. Now, some Property Circle members got this the other night in a live and I thought it was quite interesting, so I thought I'd bring it to the daily to show you guys. So, this is your typical... Now, my drawing. I'm not very renowned for my drawing, guys, okay? So... Bear with me, that is your terraced property. Now, I believe everybody should start with a two or three bedroom terraced house. Now, if you can get one, buy it, take it back to brick, manage all of the contractors and either sell it or refinance it and then turn it into a buy to let, you have done extremely well. So to me, that is the start of every single person's property journey. Now, some people are going to say to me, well, I can go and build houses, I can do flat conversions. Yes, one out of 100,000 might be able to do it, and I compare it to footballers. One footballer will make his debut as a premiership footballer, all of the rest of them have to go out on loan to League Two, League One, the Championship. This is your basic starter package in the property world. And even before that, you should really be deal sourcing before this. But this is when you want to start putting money into something. So that's your starter. Then next up is your three bedroom detached house. Now, that is your next port of call in the journey, I believe. This is my opinion. And the reason that this is a bit more, a little bit more to do, it's because you might have a bigger garden, doesn't necessarily mean it. You might have a front garden, because terrace houses usually don't have a front garden. You have a bit more room inside, and you can do a bit of configuration in a three bedroom house. So a couple of those to start with, a couple of these next up is what I believe you should aim to do, in my opinion. Then, once you have done that, there's a few options you can go down, okay? So, you have your terraced house, 
which is a little bit bigger than a two bedroom, maybe a three slash four bedroom, and then you convert it into a HMO. Um, or you can convert it into self-contained units or bed sits. But that is the next step, I believe, in a property developer's journey. And some people won't agree with this, but this is from experience. This is what I think you should do if you're just starting out. Then once you've done that, and you've done a couple of them, and you start understanding how they work with commercial valuations and bricks and mortar valuations and Article 4 areas and permitted development and stuff like that. Next up, I believe, is your semi-detached, sorry, your detached house, sorry, not your semi, your detached house, and then you add a single story rear extension, and you can also add a double story side extension. Um, that's the next logical step, in my opinion, okay? Once that's been done, and all of these guys, remember, you can repeat these multiple times. Obviously, this one will help you when it comes to planning again, um, foundations, architects, as in the HMOs will help as well, structural engineers, X, Y, and Z. This is the journey. Then once you've done that, I think the next logical step for somebody is a property that you can convert into flats. So a building or a house of decent size that you convert into three, four, five, six flats. That is what I believe the next step in the property journey is. Then after that, I would probably say a good one is a commercial building. And again, commercial to residential. Guys, forgive my drawings, they're not the best I know, but I understand them and hopefully you guys understand them. So commercial to residential, you can have commercial units at the bottom, you can have residential upstairs, you can have one whole building of residential, i.e. banks and warehouses and stuff like that. But that is my opinion for the next logical step in the journey. Um, some people, again, won't agree with what I'm saying, but this is my opinion. And then obviously, guys, the end one, in my opinion, is ground up. Whether that be houses, um, flats, just commercial. But that is what I believe the journey of a property developer should be. That's in my opinion. Now, not everybody's going to agree with this, but I've been around long enough now. Remember guys, next year, it'll be a decade in property. Next year is my 10th year in property. First three years, didn't have a clue what I was doing. Next three years, growing. Last three years, flying. And then the next three years, which is my fourth quarter, just about to touch the moon um, but yeah I hope that makes sense to everybody and if you want to know more you need to join the property circle you need to get into I have my own app I have had my own app for quite a while now um, and in there I come on live I don't know members will you comment below sometimes three four five times a week hour two hours here and there Completely randomly I pop up, but then other members of my team have set slots where they come on, questions and answers. The most educational app in the UK. And that is not me like disrespecting any other educators because there are some fantastic educators out there, but none of them are active property developers like me that deliver what I do. There are active developers who are educators out there that are good. I actually genuinely believe I'm the greatest. I am the best at what I do. Um, so yeah, easiest thing to do. Just give it a try. Just see, am I as good as I keep saying I am?